Hey everyone, this is Mike. Welcome back to Thinking Your Way to Happiness. And today we're going to talk about the self-defeating belief of self-blame. Now self-blame is when you blame yourself for everything. Whether it's a relationship at work, um, you take all the responsibility and blame on yourself. In reality, most of the time, uh, there's shared responsibility. It could be entirely someone else's fault or, or entirely circumstance beyond your control. Let's say traffic. It's uh, Traffic very often is beyond your control, especially if there's an accident or this construction. I suppose you could say, you know, could you listen to the radio earlier? Could you leave earlier, take a different route? But more often than not, um, responsibility is shared or more often someone or something else's. To the extent that it is yours, you take responsibility. But the people that have the self-defeating belief of self-blame tend to put all the responsibility for everything goes wrong in relationships, at work, in life, completely on themselves. And it's just usually uh, not true. So one of the interventions is cost-benefit analysis. What is the cost and benefit to believing this? If you believe everything is your fault, um, what is it going to get you? You know, you could also use the technique of examine the evidence. Is there evidence for that? But in this case, well, let's talk about cost-benefit. Even if it is true, um, what is the, the, the uh, cost to blaming yourself? Right? And especially if it's not true, which you probably will not be in most cases entirely your fault, the, the, the cost is you're going to beat yourself up, you're going to feel bad, you're going to take blame and responsibility that is not entirely yours, perhaps not even mostly yours. Uh, and even where it is, you, you're going to just feel guilty and shame and, and beating yourself up. So there's a tremendous amount of, of negative um, and cost. What's the benefit? I guess you could feel good about yourself, beating yourself up, you feel self-righteous. Self well, I took responsibility. Maybe, I suppose, it could make you work harder. If I feel like it's all my fault, I could work harder. But again, if it's not your fault, there's nothing self-righteous about it. There's nothing noble about taking on the responsibility. And you're not going to do things better because it's not your fault, at least not entirely. So whatever benefit there may be, and there could be some, does it really outweigh the negatives? Does it outweigh the costs? And I would argue that it does not. So during the week, keep track of any self-blame that you engage in and um, do a cost-benefit analysis. You know, put a T-chart. What's the, what's the cost of believing this and what's the benefit? And I think you'll find that the, uh, the costs more than outweigh the benefits. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. Um, if you want to subscribe, please do. If you uh, have any comments, please leave in the comment section. And if you think someone could benefit from this, please share it with them. Uh, thanks so much, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.